Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about how to install VST plugins in Reaper. And uh, the process is very, very simple. First and foremost, you need to download a VST plugin. We're going to use this one from a variety of sound. It's called the Nasty DLA Mark II. And uh, so I've already downloaded the file. When you download it, you need to find this .dll file. And this is going to be your plugin. And then you need to take this plugin and you need to place it into your VST plugins folder. Now, this VST plugins folder really could be anything. Just the main point is that you have a VST plugins folder. You know where it is and you put all of the plugins that you want to use in this folder. It's the easiest way to just keep track of them all in one place to have it centralized. So if I just go ahead and drag and drop this into this plugins folder. Now, I believe that this stock default is usually going to be in like your C drive. I'm using E just because I have a multiple hard drives on my computer, but you can really use whatever you want. Program files and then VST plugins. Again, it doesn't really matter what this folder is as long as you have a centralized folder where you put all your VST plugins. So this file is in here. Now you go to Reaper, you click Options and Preferences. And if you go down here where it says Plugins and then VST, then this right here is the most important uh, thing that you have. So if you click add, then you need to match this folder directory to be uh, the one that you select. So um, for me, that is going to be E program files 86 VST plugins right there. And then I hit OK. I already have that added. And then the important thing is you want to click this button clear cache slash rescan. I'm going to do that because I actually have just added. A new plugin, and uh, it, this might take a few minutes, and it's going to scan for any new added plugins, and it will add it to Reaper, and you can use it almost immediately right away. Um, and then when it is done scanning, then you should have it successfully added, and you can go ahead and create a new track, and select your effects, and go ahead and use it from there. Um, we're just going to wait for this one minute to make sure that it pops up. Now, sometimes certain uh, Plugins will have like an authorization process that you have to go through. Um, it just really just kind of depends on what you're downloading. But for a majority of the more default styled VST plugins, this is it. This is the end of the process. So if you add a new track, you click effects. Um, I just what I just downloaded was called Nasty DLA. So let's go ahead and click VST. And let's see if I can find it right here. The nasty DLA Mark II. And it's really as simple as that. And then that has been added. So, um, you know, like I said, certain DLA or sorry, certain VST plugins have um, uh, authorization or registration thing just to make sure that you aren't, I guess, using a stolen copy or anything like that. Um, and so you might have to also accomplish that process in order to activate. But for a majority of VST plugins, that is it. And you will have added your VST plugin to Reaper. Really, with all of them, I really would, like I said, recommend putting them in a centralized folder. I This is the one that I chose. And so every time I add a new one, I just put it in this folder. And then I rescan, and I'm good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts or comments down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.